guys welcome back to the channel it's basic builder back bringing you another episode of kingdom of the wild i first just want to uh, start off this video by just um thanking Paulsley so much for um the shout out uh during his one of his more recent videos um it, it's absolutely amazing and i was just kind of completely blown away so uh first things first Thanking him very much for what he does for the smaller creators in the community. So thank you so much, Pausley. Um, so getting into today's video, um, we are going to do another walkthrough of what I've been working on here. Uh, we've worked on the entrance as well as um, a flamingo habitat and just kind of putting in some fillers here. Um, so I just wanted to kind of bring you in, give you an update of the video or, or of the park, excuse me. and. Um, and just try to uh, do some walkthroughs here. So starting out, you can see uh, we have done quite a bit. Um, I have used quite a few blueprints here, uh, but starting off, we are using uh, Haribo's walls uh, wall set here. They're just absolutely amazing. Um, and then I have used uh, Ricey's fonts to uh, put the name of the zoo up here on this wall um, and then right here in the middle of where our gates are I use Bold's uh, tropical entrance um, she was so gratefully grateful uh, to allow me to use her her blueprint so thank you Bold um, and I think it just it really kind of fits the vibe after uh, putting some some foliage and everything around um, and then we have this Flamingo Cafe that I took off of the uh, workshop. Um, and this was created by, if I'm not mistaken, let me see, hold on. I want to make sure I get everything right. It was made by mm -hmm. Wahidrubs. Wahidrubs. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'll leave a link down in the description below of all the blueprints that I have used. But um, right here, I was thinking kind of like an Animal Kingdom vibe where you have um, kind of a Rainforest Cafe, but with a, a, a twist, basically. Um, so I went with the Flamingo Cafe, and this blueprint, guys, is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it comes fully um, decked out on the interior here. And it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, the only thing you'll have to do is just put your flooring in and, and if you want some tables and chairs and all that. So I would highly recommend grabbing this off the workshop if it's something that you would like to include in your zoo. So moving on, uh, we're going to move on down here into the uh, plaza entrance. Um, I created this little side area over here. Um, if you ever have guests that like to smoke or whatnot they could do it outside of the park before they go in um i just haven't put any kind of bins or anything like that yet so we'll get to that uh there's finishing touches eventually so here we are at the main gate um i made these turnstiles out of some some rust pipes and all that and i think they actually turned out really really well so if you'd like to see those um on the workshop or something i can definitely add that to my page um and then moving on, I have created a visitor's center uh, right here at the very entrance of this, this zoo. Uh, kind of gets all your information and whatnot. Um, it is not a functional building. However, uh, it, I think it turned out pretty well. It's pretty simple. Um, I threw in some billboards back behind these windows uh, of just the interior of, I think it's the Topeka Zoo, if I'm not mistaken. And then I pulled um, 
a uh, just in the, inside this glass, put a big statue in there of a mammoth. So uh, on this side, you can see this will be your exit gate. Uh, signs will still have to be put up. And again, obviously, uh, we're going really, really heavy on the foliage in this too as well. So moving on, um, this I, uh, little arbor covering here uh, is something that I created in my Ambrose Zoo. Um, project. If you haven't seen that, um, I would highly recommend checking out that series. Um, I have not completely abandoned it, but um, I just needed something new to start on. And uh, so I pulled those over. Um, and again, I can add those as well to the zoo uh, or to the uh, workshop, excuse me. Um, another blueprint that I have taken from Bold is these um, construction walls. Uh, they, I saw her last video, she actually showcased these and they are just absolutely awesome. So again, shout out to Bold. So moving on, we are going to continue um, some light poles that I created. Uh, I think I showed those off in the first episode, but keeping with that Pandora style vibe. Uh, and then here's a uh, information kiosk uh, or it can be a restaurant however you want to do it quick serve restaurant i don't care um it can be used for anything really and so i decided to throw that in this little filler uh building uh, just to kind of fill in this gap before we move to a habitat that'll be over in this particular area uh to the left of it so we're going to continue on down. We added more foliage in, built some walls up. And so everybody, I believe, if you haven't seen um, the first video, this is the main, she would call it, the, the weenie, uh, going back to the planet coaster days of the zoo um, with the, uh, tree huts or tree houses i guess you would call it up top so kind of going with that that fantasy vibe here um so moving on down uh again we have the um uh, barbarissa habitat right over here moving on around over this way currently i have no guests in here i just have uh, park staff that's it just to take care of the animals uh we have added some more foliage in Sorry for the screen jumps, guys. I'm really bad about the camera. Uh, but I have gone ahead and added this staircase. And I think it turned out really, 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 really well. So, pretty happy about that. Uh, before we get to the flamingo habitat, though, I want to bring you all up to here. And we have started working on uh, this top layer section uh, where the, uh, another restaurant is. Uh, some benches up underneath this the shade here, kind of out overlook the park. Um, and then obviously we'll continue off over here on the left hand side where these guys are walking uh, with some foliage and other buildings. Um, so zooming on over this way, again, just some foliage, no curb on this side or anything like that. Uh, I did have to raise it up a little bit due to the way the pathing was not working over here by these stairs so their feet are kind of sunk in but uh, we also added over here on this bridge uh, some more eating areas uh, so we added some tables and we'll go back down going back down going back down um, again you have this this giraffe neck statue right here in the middle just to, as a filler. I think it turned out really well actually. And then we have the flamingos. Uh, I am using uh, Leaf's flamingo pack. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. So I will again leave a link to that. Oh, excuse me. Leave a link to that below uh, in the description. Uh, I believe I have four different types of flamingos. So we have the greater flamingos. Uh, we have the uh, Chilean flamingos. Let's see what we got here. 
We got more greater flamingos. I did have the James flamingos in here, but they are tiny. And I just couldn't get over the fact that how small they were. So I pulled them and took them out. We'll make another habitat for them. We have the um, Andine flamingos and then last but not least the American flamingos uh, or the Caribbean flamingos, however you want to you want to put it. So uh, overview of the habitat of the type of birds that we have in here. Again, we're continuing on with the, the heavy foliage work. Uh, it is a small habitat, but I um, I didn't want to add too many birds, but we did put a few in. Um, put a little waterfall feature as well as a rubber ducky, just because it's a rubber ducky and have a rubber ducky in. Um, I have also uh, added this um, awning sunshade, I guess you want to call it. it Provide some shade to the uh, flamingos as well, uh, as you can actually just stand up underneath it. So I think it turned out pretty well. Um, let's see, is there anything else that I have done so far? Uh, last but not least, I guess I can say is uh, we have started a area for a parking lot. Um, so let's move on over there. So. I have created this monstrosity of a mess of a parking lot. Um, this isn't going to be the final product, but uh, kind of just getting a general idea of cut the entrance coming in on the, the left-hand side of your screen and then the exit going on out on the right side of the screen. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I added a lot of foliage around just the barrier of uh, the entrance. Uh, just to kind of block off what you can and cannot see. So uh, just to, you know, provide that 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 uh, screen area. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure what we are going to uh, have is that we're going to build next. But I plan to build a couple habitats before I, I show off the zoo again. So, uh, so stick around and uh, hopefully... The, you know, I'll get the next episode out. Um, so as you're watching this video, I'm actually going to be out of town on vacation. So uh, next week there will not be a video um, out because I will not be at my computer. So um, I'm going to enjoy the vacation with my wife. We are going to relax and we'll get uh, back into this zoo when, we, uh, when I return. So, uh, guys, thank you again for coming by, touring the Zoo Kingdom of the Wild, and I hope you do enjoy it, and if you did, please hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that like button as well, um, so it helps out with the algorithm, and gets this video out to other people. Um, again, I'm going to leave the uh, links in the description to all the blueprints that I have used, and... Um, yeah, and then we'll just catch you in the next video, guys. So, see ya. Bye-bye.